This is to inform you that you have consumed all of your API credits in the last 24 hours and all further API calls will fail. That's a message that lots of people are receiving lately. And I want to show you what to do when it's coming, how to identify the problem and how to stop the madness until a developer can check it out for you. In this video, we're going to talk about a general problem that happens to Zoe users all the time. And specifically, we're going to talk about something that happens in the last few days. There are lots of users that's receiving this email message that is saying that you exceeded your API calls. Now, in general, this happens whenever you have some kind of a function that is being called too many times or maybe a webhook, something that is going on in your system that's exhausting your resources. As an example, let's say that you will have our SMS tool, as an example. Every time that an SMS is being sent, you will use one API call for this transaction, which means it's calling Twilio as an API and then that, that will consume one API call. Most companies and most users will have few hundreds or maybe few thousand API calls a day. And that's legit. That's supposed to be like that. Zoe is giving you around 50,000 API calls a day, much more that you need as part of your package. And if you exceed it, then you will need to pay more. There are few users that will need to use more than 50,000 a day, but the majority will stay within the 50,000 with no problem at all. Whenever you receive a message that you exceeded your 50,000, 99% of the time it means that something is going on in your system and you need to fix it because it's not supposed to be like that. So let's first understand the problem. Whenever a record is edited, okay, let's say whenever I'm changing the first name of a lead or whenever I'm changing the email address or whenever I'm updating the phone number, that will be considered as edit. Whenever a record is edited, it will activate some kind of a workflow that will do something in the background. Just as an example, let's say that you will have a workflow in your system and every time that you update, let's say the first name, it will create some kind of a log in the background of who updated the record. Whenever this workflow is being uh, called, it will call a custom function that will do the magic of logging this transaction. Now, there is something in the code and it looks something like that. It doesn't matter what you have on top, it's irrelevant. What matters is if you have a trigger workflow. Now, if you have this trigger workflow, it will run back and it will call the function again and again. So in the beginning, you will have here, the record is edited and then the workflow on edit, on update is calling the custom function. The custom function is running some kind of an update. And therefore, if you have the workflow trigger, it will call again to the same workflow. So it's creating some kind of an infinite loop of whenever it's being updated, call the workflow. Then it's calling the function. The function is updating, so it's calling the workflow. And it's just never ending loop that will exhaust your API call because every time that you're running a custom function, it will call one API call and it will be a lot. Now, if you do not have the trigger workflow, it will just die. What we identified this weekend, because we got this weekend massive amount of requests for help, is that something happened on the Zoho side. We're not sure yet what. We're waiting for next week to, to talk to Zoho support. But we saw that whenever you had the trigger workflow, it was working fine, which means if the workflow was being called from the same function, it didn't really call again and again to the same function. It worked okay. 
But something happened over the weekend, I don't know what, that whenever you have the trigger workflow, it's actually create a calling the same function again, again, and then it's creating an infinite loop. The quickest way to figure it out is just to disconnect the workflow and deactivate it and everything will be fine again. And let me show you how it works. So first of all, in order to see the APIs, you will need to go to the settings. You will need to go to the APIs. And whenever your system is affected, uh, right now you will see that I'm using 60 API calls out of 52,000. And that's, that's a normal number in the Android or few thousands, it's okay. More than a few thousand, something is going on. Whenever you will see it, uh, in your case, whenever you're getting the message that you exceeded the API calls, you will see that the line here goes all the way. And whenever you scroll down, you will see that you have here different lines. Basically, each module will represent how many calls were called to the same one. And you will see like an insane number here. Let's assume that this number is like 50,000 or you know, 30,000, some crazy number. And whenever you click on it, then you will see a breakdown of how many calls were made to the same function. And let's assume that this function specifically, this is instead of nine, it will be in the thousands. And then whenever you copy this function, you will need to go again to settings and you will need to go to functions. And then I want you to search for the same name. And then you can see a few of them. And what I care about is the one that says automation. And I will click on the function that says automation. And now you will have here a small button that will say associated places, basically where this function is being called from. And if you click, you will see that you have a workflow with this name. So I will copy this name now. I will go back to settings. I will go to workflow rules. And then I will search for it. And then you will find one. If I will click on it, you will see that there is a trigger when this workflow is being called to which criteria and also the custom function that it's running it. And if you will click on deactivate, then this workflow will stop to work and then it will not create the infinite loop. And that will be a quick uh, patch to stop this craziness and stop the API calls from being uh, exhausted. And then you can call a developer to help you and see what's going on. But at least you are out of danger and your system can be up and running. Because when your, the API calls are out, you have no more automations in your system. And that's not good. Okay. So again, from what we discovered so far, this is the problem, the trigger workflow. And uh, you can also check your code. You can check the workflows. But I hope I was able to uh, give you a little bit of insight of why it's happening and how to fix it yourself. Uh, or how to stop it from exhausting more and more API calls on your system.